guys. I just wanted to make a quick little vlog style video today. Then I'm gonna be trying to make more of these, but um, today the topic for today is why I decided to get an S2000. Um, I've always liked the way this car looked since I was a little kid. I remember I had a, a book that I bought at the book fair at school, and uh, it had all kinds of cars in there. But the the one that I remember the most is this car, and. Uh, I remember the since that was way before push start was the uh, um, the most common way to start your car. I remember seeing that, and I I don't I don't know why, but that just made me fall in love with the car. Just the the way that it had a red push start button, like I had I had never seen anything like that before. So um, as soon as I saw that that car on that book, it had all the specs and all that. Um, I knew it was a car that I one day wanted to own. And um, uh, I don't know how many years later, probably like 10 years later, I was um, finally in the in the market to get one. And uh, I was even before that, I, I would always read up on s2ki.com um, and just read up a, a bunch of information on it, all the differences between every model year. So um, I just really liked this car. So when I started shopping for a new car, I used to have an Integra. And uh, when I started shopping for a car, um, I wasn't sure that I was going to get this car. Um, it just isn't the most practical car to get. You know, it's a two-seater. You have a tiny trunk. And since it is my daily driver, I uh, part of me wanted something that uh, I could use for whatever. I could uh, bring friends with me. Um, so I started looking around. I, um, I was looking at... Um, E46 M3s, and I was looking at the the newer E90 335Is, and uh, the reason I decided not to go with one of those was just the maintenance. Um, this is a car. This S2000 is a car that I could work on myself. If anything goes wrong, um, it's cheap to fix, and I could most likely fix it myself. So when I started looking around and reading all the problems that each car had that I was interested in getting. Um, I was like, yeah, they, um, the, the newer 335 has turbo issues. And it just didn't make sense to me to get a, a newer car that's gonna give, me, gonna give me the same issues. And I was also looking at um, the newer uh, Audi A5s, and that's a beautiful car. Even uh, when I see it on the road, I'm like, wow, I could have had that. But I, I'm still extremely happy with my car. Um, so another reason I decided to get this car over uh, something something German was um, the my the mileage I could get this car for versus the mileage those cars would have in the same price range. Um, so my car has I got it with 45,000 miles. It has uh, 52,000 now. So I've, I've driven it a good amount, um, but I was I just thought about it and I thought about how um, this car is it's such an older car for uh, and it's in the same price range. So I just I thought about it and I um, I thought that's that's how collectors' cars are. Um, and they keep their value very good. And I thought about. The, the newer cars like the Audi A5, the BMW 335i that I was looking at, those cars, they they costed, when they first came out, they retailed for more than this car. And they're much newer than my car, so I just thought about how are they already in the same price range that this car that's, what is it, like 10 years older than it maybe? A little bit less than 10 years? How are they still in the same price range? So I thought about it. And um, I just thought in the future this car is gonna comparatively keep its value a lot better than the than the other cars that I could have gotten in the same price range. Um, so before I went to test drive this car, I had never uh, test driven an, an S2000 before. I had never even been in one, so I wasn't really I didn't really know what to expect. But as soon as I got in it. I test drove it. The gear, the gear shift was one of the first things I noticed. How incredibly smooth it was, and how it's like in the perfect position. So, I of course.
course I like that about it. Um, in the test drive I did a, my first pull in it and I, I knew it was going to be quicker than my old Integra but I didn't think it was going to be such a big difference. So I was happy with that too of course. And the interior I liked all the materials um, and as soon as I saw the car I was like yeah. Um, I was pretty sure as soon as I saw it that I was going to take it home with me because just it was one of the cleanest around before I um, before I started shopping I wanted a red one but then as I started looking into them um, I wanted a I narrowed it down to either a black or a white one and uh, the black ones are easier to find and um, I would see I saw more black ones than I did red ones and then the white ones if I would have seen a white one for the same price range the same mileage I would have gotten that instead but um, the white one is also the most rare color and um, I think the white is probably the nicest color for the S2000s but I really like the, the way the red looks it's like a it's a different kind of red that I've ever seen on any different car any other car it's like a, a very vivid red so as soon as I saw it I, I liked everything about the car um, and I test drove it as soon as I got out I was like yeah I, I'm taking this car home with me so did all the paperwork and I drove I drove uh, two hours I'm in the Central Valley so I drove towards Sacramento and that's like a two-hour drive so I drove over there and drove it back when I got it I had a Magnaflow exhaust and uh, it was crazy exhaust road on the highway so when I drove back I got back with a headache because it was horrible so that day that I got it I went on the Facebook forums and I asked if anyone wanted to trade for a stock exhaust so of course it was a Magnaflow exhaust so of course someone wa was gonna want to trade trade me for it so I, I ended up finding someone drove down from Fresno so he drove an hour towards me um, and uh, we met at a muffler shop and we traded straight across so um, I'm extremely happy with the car um, I don't know there's nothing much else to say so those are the main reasons why I decided to get an S2000 over something newer something probably faster too and more comfortable of course more practical so I sacrificed a lot of things just to get this car and I don't regret that decision at all it's it's a very it's a true sports car and um, I think about the other things I could get in the same price range and I don't think I could could have gotten anything that's more of a true sports car than this car is um, for what I bought it for and and it's I was looking at the competitors when this car first came out so the main com competition was a Mercedes SLK BMW Z4 I believe and um, I don't think the Miata was was a competitor but this car came to came out to compete with those two and also the Porsche Boxster so I was also researching those and the way those have kept their value and the only car that from the um, if you compare each year with each make and model the only car that has really kept its value compared to this one that was its main competitor was uh, the Porsche Boxster and that's a uh, that's that probably something else that's a, or another car that's a true sports car compared to this car but I still decided to get this car just I like the way it looks better um, I I do want to test drive it just to, out of curiosity to see um, what this car was up against when it came out but overall like I said I like the way this car looks better um, I like the 9000 rpm red line um, and just the the fact that it's a Honda and you have that reliability um, not not saying the Porsche Boxster is an unreliable car but um, it is gonna be more expensive to fix just because it's a German car and parts are more expensive lab labor is more expensive so all in all um, those are the main reasons why I decided to get this car um, I'm not speaking on behalf of everyone I'm sure I'm sure there's tons of people who Actually, I know for a fact that there's tons of people who would rather have a newer car than this old car. And um, I, I just think about the way that this car is going to hold its value compared to those. And um, that's why it makes this 
car at great value compared to those. So, so in conclusion, uh, those are the main reasons why I decided to get this car compared to other cars that I could have gotten in the same price range. Um, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like down below. Um, be sure to comment what you would have done if you were in my situation or what other cars that you would have gotten that I maybe didn't think of. And be sure to subscribe for future content. I'm gonna uh, try to make more of this vlog style videos. I really like just driving around and uh, talking about um, one thing. And it just kind of frees my mind, uh, gives me something to do. So be sure to subscribe and um, I'll be sure to post more videos like this. Thank you.